Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tipfox. I'm a video making nerd from Hamburg, Germany. Today, not from my studio, because there is a big construction site. Yes, and today we are here for my kitchen. I hope this is okay for you, because I really, really can't resist to show you a really simple and quick way to edit your 360 camera footage, like from the GoPro Max, in DaVinci Resolve free. So you don't need to pay the studio version. And it is much smoother than the other ways you can edit your 360 footage in DaVinci Resolve. This is possible with a plugin called Reframe 360, which is currently beta and you can download for free. Follow the link in the description and now I will show you how you can download, install and use this awesome plugin. Let's get started. You can download this awesome plugin from reframe360.com just click on the get the beta button here, fill in your email address and you will receive an email with a download link in it. You just unzip this file and put it in C program files, common files, OFX, plugins and there just this folder. This is all you need to do to activate the plugin and then of course start DaVinci Resolve. In the meantime, I will copy my footage with the GoPro exporter from my SD card. So just plug in your SD card, go in your file browser, you will see the SD card here. Go in DCIM100 GoPro, just grab your 360 file, which is really important. The other files are unnecessary. Drag and drop it into this big field here and make sure to activate Cineform 5.6K. Those two buttons here, 360 audio is deactivated right now. I think they released another version where it is activated, but I don't care about the audio in this case. And I activated the hardware decoding, which is way faster. Just click start and the converter will save the converted video file under your target path here, in my case videos. If you're interested in this video and you're excited for more tutorials related to 360 cams, DaVinci Resolve, Blender and more, just give me a follow, it's free and don't forget to hit the bell to not miss any upcoming video. But now let's move forward. Now we are in DaVinci Resolve, I created a new project and opened the edit tab and now I just need to drag and drop my video file in the media library. There you go. Just drag it on your timeline. As you can see, I got two black borders. I will erase them by just increase the size in Y. It's just a little draft project. Now the magic is happening. Go in OpenFX under Effects Library, scroll down until the end and there you have Reframe 360. Now just drag and drop this OpenFX on your clip and you will have a reframed image. In the inspector tab on the top right corner, you can change parameters like the zoom I did just before. And also you have a tab called OpenFX where you can find all the effects you laid on this video. And here you can change the main camera parameters, pitch and the yaw and so on. But what is really cool about this tool, because this would be really, yeah, let's say a bit much work to just animate those three parameters all over again, you can create cameras. So camera angles you save for later usage. I have uh, selected the first camera now. Just click on show edit camera. So it will take the parameters you are changing here down. And then we can change the pitch and the yaw, just take my face in cam. And if you're switching here to two, you're editing another camera. Just yeah, do the opposite way. Uh, let's face our stuff here. And then just make another camera. Um, let's say I want to have a bit more field of view here and I want to roll it a bit, I don't know. So like this, I got these three cameras now. Now we want to animate a transition between those camera angles, which is really easy. Just go here, camera animation parameters, you have here camera sequence, 
which is the first camera of your three camera pre-selections, I would call them. Um, and I can just animate this here. Just click on this little diamond here. So we have the first camera is in the first frame. Then we switch to the second camera here. Just type in two. So we have the second camera. Uh, make sure to uncheck this show edit camera because we want to see the current selected camera of the timeline. Then scrub to the next frame. I don't know where, just like this, three. And now look at this. We got an animation. Isn't that cool? Isn't that easy and really smooth? I'm recording with OBS right now. Remember this. Um, there are other ways to do this, but this is the really easiest way ever. I never imagined that this is happening in DaVinci Resolve and that this happened already in DaVinci Resolve. So um, if you want to change this now, this is kind of, you know, it's more a fast movement. If you want to change this to linear movement, just type in, in the plant acceleration one. So it will make linear transitions between your camera angles. And if you want to change this to a bit quicker movements, just increase this by, let's say, type in five. So we will have a much quicker animation between those camera angles. I really like this. I am so happy that this is possible with DaVinci Resolve. Now also in the free version, I got the studio version, but this is also working with the free version. I don't need to use the GoPro app on my smartphone, which is really cool because I don't want to lose the possibilities I have with DaVinci Resolve. Color grading, cutting and so on is way easier. Now I can just cut here. You know, I just can cut here and let's say here. Uh, remove this part and now I made a cut here which is really not that easy in the GoPro app <laughs> believe me so this is everything I wanted to show you if you have any questions just let me know in the comments or ask the developer themselves they got um, contact information here you can just fill in the form it's a German guy called or an yeah Austrian guy called Stefan Sitzen um, but, you know, I don't have any question because this is so freaking easy. If this was something new for you and you want to support this channel, I would be really happy to see your like under this video. And if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos about DaVinci Resolve, Blender, 360 cameras and more, just give me a follow and hit the bell to not miss any upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching and I hope you have an awesome Christmas. Bye!